Hello there, welcome back. How's things going today? So I thought we'd switch things up, continue to switch things up, I should say, and play a little bit of a class that isn't Spy! Hooray! So I thought we'd go into a pub, play a little bit of Scout. I don't play too much Scout on the channel. I've actually got a fair few hours in him. I've played a fair little bit of him in Sixes. I've been playing it since 2013, but I've never done anything seriously, so take anything I say with a pinch of salt. But, you know, I've shot a few scatterguns in my day, and I've chased a few spies with a bad milk. So, let's hop onto a pub and have a little chat about Scout. I'll see you there. Oh, Lakeside. Terrific. So, unless th unless there's literally one mini century, we should be able to do all right here. I don't know if the game has started yet. There's no timer on my screen, but it might just be that my HUD's broken. There's no music, and this worries me. But there's there's people fighting each other. There's points. Didn't they get rid of points in pregame? I actually don't know if that's a true fact or not. But anyway, yeah. So we're playing a little bit of Scout. We can have a little bit of chat about him. Chat about his weapons and his side grades and his and his main guns and all you know all that wibbly wobblet stuff. And obviously we're gonna be running like the Scout set. The Scout set being the scatter gun, the Mad Milk, and the Atomizer. I think personally, this is me personally. You know, I'm not a Scout man, but I've played lots of Scout and I've played with lots of Highlander Scouts that are better than me. Atomizer, Scattergun, Mad Milk just seems to be the S tier set. Scattergun's the best primary. Soda Popper, maybe. Soda Popper's also pretty good. One Pyro, kind of near me. Alright, that was a that was a little annoying. I completely forgot that Pyro instantly kills you, so I was kind of hoping... Yeah, I haven't really played too much Scout since the update, so you'll have to forgive me if I'm not used to the fact that Pyro's just melt you in the face. Normally I'd like run away at mid-range and then run up and meat shot them. Like that. Or cheeky meat shotting action, but yeah. Scattergun is by far the best Scattergun. The Soda Popper, maybe. You could just use it and be alright with it as well. The fact that it does a ridiculous amount of burst damage is amazing. The fact that it has all those extra jumps. I don't know if they got rid of those. They keep changing around all the items, but I'm pretty sure the Soda Pop is still the same. Uh, it's amazing. The fact that soldiers can't shoot you because you're like 50 meters in the sky is great. And obviously the Atomizer for a triple jump is good. They changed it. I, I want to say they nerfed it. I don't think it was much of a nerf, because I actually feel like it's better than it was before. It took me like a week to get used to the fact that you have to pull out your melee, because apparently Valve has no idea what quick switching is, where you have to completely fill out your melee. Yeah, you to, to get the triple jump, you don't even have to wait for the animation to finish. You just go one, two, melee, triple jump. That's it. That's all you have to do. So once you learn that you just have to like scroll wheel down or whatever, it's basically an upgrade to how it was. There's one mini sentry. There you go. There's one man ruining the fun for everyone else. And he's also chasing. Oh god, he's chasing pretty hard as well. We're probably going to die. We don't have enough health for this. Oh, there's also there's so many... Oh, there's one pyro. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We've run into the, run, the one problem that Scout really has. is sentries. Many sentries are... Sh we really hate them. But fortunately, the bloody pocket pistol, they, they made it really good. They fixed it recently. So up until like a, I don't know, like a week or two ago, it gave you like 7 HP back per shot. And it was intended to be based on damage. So, you know... You do a full pistol damage up their bum, like this pyro. You'll do seven damage a hit. Look in the bottom left, you see I had plus seven, plus seven, plus seven. But you're at like a distance away, you should do plus four, I think. Plus three, even. Okay. So yeah, it's still really good, despite the rework. I wouldn't even say it's enough. It obviously is enough, but healing on a pistol is awesome, especially on scout. You kind of just get free health. One of the reasons I really like it, though, is I always use the milk. Health regen is so strong in shooters that not using it seems like a silly idea. Um, it, it, there's no reason for me to use the pistol. People like the pistol, plenty of scouts love the pistol, the pistol's good, quad, obviously. Hit like every pistol shot ever and everyone loved him. I just liked Mad Milk, the fact that you could throw it on a heavy and still use your scatter gun to do damage. I liked it, it was worked for me. But, mini sentries are always an issue. You know what was a really good counter to mini sentries? It's the pistol. You know what, pistol has health regen on it now. That's right. Exactly, you're putting, trying to put two and two together. Also, by the way, if you're doing a scout video, you have to speak really fast. Um, it's not because you're trying to get over your cold, so you're hoping that if you think that you don't have it, you're going to get rid of it. That's not how colds work, obviously, but... Let's try and pretend. There's one mini, but yeah. The thing with sentries is, they're a huge pain as scout. If you use the pistol, you can at least chip away at a distance. Unless there's an engineer like that who's just going to keep putting it up and up again. Basically, just have to avoid that half of the map. Or just <laughs> shoot it once. Remember, big old, big old tip. I don't know if there's any exceptions, but every... I'm going to say every, I might be wrong, but I think every... Hit scan weapon in the game has one perfect shot, i.e. the center. If you're using a scatter, scatter gun, the very middle shot will always hit perfectly accurately. If you wait about 1.2 seconds or reload between shots, it's about that roughly. It varies between weapons, but I should have, maybe I shouldn't have pistoled him. I nearly died there. I should have pistoled him, so I didn't. So I got all my health back. These are things I need to learn, by the way. So like, I, it, I'm using the the pistol as if I've got a pistol, i.e. if I want to kill something in close range, I use the scatter gun. What I should be using it for is, you know, if I'm low on health and I see a guy standing still, I should go 
Also, for some reason, it fires faster. I don't know why Valve ever thought that was a good idea, but it's basically just a better version of the stock pistol. Like, it's banned in sixes. It's it's banned. It's really, really good. Health regen and the fact that you have a pistol that fires faster is kind of strong as hell. But also, so's the milk. So don't just think it's, it's default better than milk because it does damage. You don't get as much health back, and you do have to hit shots. Normally, to get health back with the milk, you just milk them and then meat shot them once, and you get literally all your HP back. Like this pyro, that 100 meat shot there would have gotten me all my health back. I'm probably going to die now. I need to stay around spawn just in case someone like No, maybe- Oh yeah, they changed afterburn! That's an amazing change. So what I was going to do is wait outside spawn for someone to come so I could get all my health back. Instead, I'm just going to run up to him, get my, my health back via pistol. Here's a good little use for it, by the way. Try not to get- Try not to crouch. There you go. Here's a bit of really good series of tips. First of all, don't crouch on lakeside ever, apparently, because snipers will instantly headshot you. But- if you're lowish on health, just spam at a distance. There's no reason not to. Just think of it like the old black box, where if you're kind of lowish on soldier, you just spam random chokes and see if you can get health back. You can kind of just use it like that. If you find yourself lacking a little bit in the HP department, you know, there's no downside to just standing like a mile away and going... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pyro, chase me. Chase me. Okay, you can stop chasing me. I apparently had way more health than I thought. I'm literally one shot away, I guess, but yeah. Like here, I'm 93. That means I'll die to any pipe. So what I would like is, um... Oh god, bullet spread. Yeah, this range is bullet spread and he's healing it. What was I? I completely forgot. I got completely mind flooded by that bloody engineer and his sentry. There we go. There we go. Just just try and get a few, few more frags into our frag directory. Still a very strong old loadout without the milk. But what was I going to say? Um... Cock, I've completely forgotten. Let's just stand here and shoot the sentry. You can do this as well. This is why I like the pistol. As long as bullet spread works in your favour, you can do that and you'll be able to break it over and over. Unfortunately, he probably has like one dispenser, so I'm not going to be able to do much. But I can just sit here and farm sniper frags over and over again, which is alright. Big old thing you can do on especially cough maps, but like this map's amazing for it. There's parts of the map where like the snipers just go to like lay their eggs or something. They just go, they run away from the herd or whatever. And, um, they're basically alone, so you can just pick them off for free. It's pretty funny. Vlog Pyro, chase me over here. No? Alright, no worries. I got one random crit in our team one. Terrific. But yeah, it's really easy as well to top score a scout if you just run around and, like, farm frags. So here, the only thing that would probably kill me is, like, a heavy medic combo and me not being prepared. That's one of the reasons I honestly think I, like, prefer the milk over the pistol, mostly because the pistol's great. I remember what I was going to talk about earlier. But um, the pistol's great for healing little chip bits of health. But if I'm coming across a if I'm coming across a group of people, I'd much rather have the milk. If I threw a mad milk here on red, I would milk like well, like six people. If I needed health back, I could just spam randomly into that group and probably get like sixty HP back in one shot. With the pistol, you know, I'd have to track one guy in close range completely to get that sixty HP back. Still possible, obviously. Hence why it's still good. But it's more difficult than the milk. Hence why you want to make the game as easy for yourself as possible. If you can get all your health back with one shot, wouldn't you rather do that? I probably would. But um, the thing I was going to talk about was, um, there's a lot of damage... That guy's got really good SMG aim. There's a lot of damage... What's the word? Like, levels? I can't think of a good word. Like, walls? There's a, there's a word for it in MOBAs and RPGs. Oh god, I've been, I've been flanked. Basically, there's a lot of stuff that does an exact amount of damage to kill you. And um, by which I mean like pipes and body shots. So like 50 and 100 health are like two price points you can think of. 50, 100, and 150. If you find yourself on 96 health as scout with the mad milk, I normally tend to waste the mad milk just to get myself over that 100 barrier. Because it means that I won't get one shot by like two body shots or um, one pipe or like one rocket. The fact that you can, with the pistol... Crit sniper? With the pistol, you can just nick that tiny little bit of health back. It makes it incredibly handy. So I like it for that. Like, if you're running around solo and you're soloing people, the pistol's probably better than the milk. As a scout, you should mostly win most of your 1v1s. If it's just a heavy by himself, three meat shots, you know, a little bit of a pistol bullet will probably get him down. The milk's amazing for that. Not the, sorry, not the milk, the pistol. The fact that you can get yourself over those little damage margins without wasting a speed up thing like the milk, you have to wait for that to recharge. Pistol, nah. I'm 64. If I can find, like, something to just randomly spam, I'll get myself above that margin. Then I don't have to worry about being one-shot. Just spam in there wildly. That's alright. There's a sniper who's probably going to pop and kill us, but, like, there'll be someone we can get. 74. That's good enough for now, maybe. We're not going to get to 100 for now. But anyway, yeah. If it comes against groups, the milk, I just think, is better in every way. Like, if I'm fighting an entire group of people, I'd much rather mad milk all of them and then just run around meat-shotting, meat-shotting, meat-shotting and getting all my health back instantly. I'm going to die to that sniper, aren't I? 
Good time. Look, I'm on 63. I would have died to one non-crit melee swing, so me getting my health back meant that I would have survived there. Unfortunately, an engineer came up and just destroyed me. That's alright. That's the downside, obviously, of Scout, because it is. Hit scan. If you miss your shots, you just miss. There's no splash damage. You're trying to kick someone. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's just an engineer. Let's leave him. But yeah, because it, it's it's not like soldier. You can't just kind of like shoot the floor and hit. If you don't hit a scout, you just die. That was a pretty good example of like we've been doing all right this game, but like one slip up can just get you killed. Like the engineer just had he just hit more shots than us and killed us. There's a spy up here somewhere. Where is he? He's in the health room maybe. No, I'm not entirely sure. But um, if you miss, you're just you're just screwed. So you don't need to avoid that. The milk is really nice for picking up on you missing though. Because you can kind of just aim nearest to them and get some health back and it lets you live for a little bit longer until you actually hit the shot. But I could say the same thing about the pistol as well. Where if you're having a bit of difficulty aiming someone like this, you can just spam in there with the pistol. And because it's fast firing, you're more likely to hit a shot. And just hitting any shots can be better than hitting no shots at all, even if the shot does like no damage. Hello. Okay. I, first of all, can I just say I hate minis. Like, I genuinely detest them. I think also aim in a video game is like such an awful mechanic. And the fact that there's like an entire weapon just balanced around having a tiny thing that auto-aims, knocks you back, and kills you is just bad. Like, it's not like it has a giant hitbox and you can just destroy it across the map. It does admittedly have fall-off turned off on it, so if I shoot the sentry, I'll always do 15 damage to it, you see? But like, it's just an awful idea. <laughs> I, gen I, do not, I do not like it, because I feel like there's so little I can do against it most of the time. Like, if there's a sentry, I have to basically just suicide for it as scout, or like, switch to another class. Which is the idea of the game, you know, it is a class shooter. But I just don't like it. I really- I just, It's- it's, uh, maybe not the best excuse, but I feel like it's anti-fun. Like, it's- the engineer puts in very little to get a lot of annoyance out. Like, you literally press four and then one, and you've just annoyed an entire team. Whereas if you want to do the same thing as sniper, you have to be really good at aiming, and you have to hit all your headshots and stuff. I just feel like, for, for such a little input of just putting something on the floor, you can annoy everyone and cover an entire, like, control point. Like, I wouldn't mind if, you know, it had a warm-up where if you ran into the range and then it would start shooting you really, really fast, because that would at least mean that you can get past its range really fast. Or if, like, you know, it's, it missed. <laughs> like, it didn't just instantly hit everything. What are you doing, Spy? He's, oh, he's using the Razorback. You tried to do the thing where you shoot it. I see. This, this man actually have a, a flog that says, You mad, bro with, like, a bunch of kills on it. That's a little cruel. We don't like that man either. It's not a very nice thing to do. Try to play the games for fun. Don't try to make your fun out of being a mean person to other people. That's one thing. There's, a, there's, like, there's a lot of, like, pub scouts, you see. And by a lot, I mean there's the one vocal one out of 999 scouts. That's just really loud and obnoxious. They put, like, all of their lime green hats on, and they run around, and they spam binds in chat, and then they spam pipes at you and kill you. But, like, I don't know. I, I don't like that mentality of he's having a fun time, so it's my job to destroy that. I don't think that's good. I think you should play video games for fun, because you've had, like, you know, you've had a long day or whatever, and you just want to relax. I don't think you should play to try and be malicious. I don't understand the point of it. Like, you know, being malicious just breeds more people being malicious. If you anger someone that's aged, like, 12 on the internet, they might grow up to be a very angry, like, 14-year-old. Whereas if you're nice to him, he might grow up to be a very nice 14-year-old and then make more people nice and make more people nice and etc. If you're, if you're just a dick to him, you might just end up making a big old chain of just dickishness. Which I don't like. Be kind to your friends. Are you... Is this sniper, is this sniper like friends with this engineer or something? They're just sitting together at the back of the map, taunting after they kill someone. They're a very strange little boy. They've, they have like a little... They're like, you know how they, you, have, you get whales and little fish that clean them? They have a bit of that. They have... And heavy, look, there's a mini sentry. Uh, what's the word? They have one of those um, symbiotic relationships. There's an engineer putting up a dispenser and a mini to detect to defend him. And then the engineer gets like frags and stuff as people come to him. You know, you get people like scouts and spies coming onto that sniper to feed off of his delicious nectar. And then the engineer sits there to, you know, cut his hair or whatever. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a biologist. I do, I do programming. It's not quite the same thing. It's similar. Not exactly the same, but anyway. I want to frag him now. Now that he's taunted me, that means I have to frag him. It's in the rule book for the game. I also just saw that he died to a sniper. Was it the sniper that we've just been killing this whole game? I think it was. How about we melee it? Never mind. Yeah. It's pretty good. Hello. I'm back for more. He's back for more. That's right. We've, we've killed him. We need to also kill this dummy man. He's got very good aim. Argon. You have good aim, Argon. I don't- I'm sorry I got the crit. I don't like that. I wanted to, like, battle him normally. I probably wouldn't have killed him had, uh, 
had I not have gotten the crit, because the mini sniper also, if you're playing sniper, for the love of god, body shot minis. Two body shots will take out any mini as sniper at any range. If you are playing sniper and you see a mini, please, please, just shoot it with your sniper rifle. Oh god, he's using the shotgun. Shot me through a wall. We've got a very good shotgun, eh, Morgan? I don't know if he's like a, like a, like a famous player, but he's got some good shotgun aim on him. Anyway, I think that will end it for today. I had a good little chat that I thought I wanted to. I went over what I thought were like, you know, the good, good old scout weapons, good old scout loadouts and thoughts and things. So do let me know what you think. I'm trying to mix up things a little bit and not just play spy all the time. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, do let me know. But that'll be all for today. And I will see you all next time. Good night and goodbye and good evening and yeah, all of that, all the good stuff. But yeah, goodbye.